happy 2023. Mm, those words are crazy sounding. I would do more of a talking intro, which is kind of not a usual thing for me anyway, but I am running late. I'm in a hurry. That part is not something out of the ordinary. I'm going to get my nails done again. I know it seems like I just got them done. It's been almost a month and I'm not really going to have that much time in January to get them done, so. I thought I may as well get them done right now while I do have the chance. And because this nail fell off prematurely. Anyway, I need to stop being late to everything. 2023 goals.
If you remember the pasta I made last vlog, I'm basically gonna recreate a similar pasta pesto, pesto pasta? I'm gonna recreate a similar pesto pasta, but this time I'm gonna use salmon. My friend gifted me this box of chocolates for Christmas. Godiva is like my favorite brand of chocolates ever. They used to have Godiva shops in the malls and had a membership card for it. So every single month, I would make sure to go to the mall and get a free piece of chocolate. Which one is it?
more like my current daily makeup routine and I think that's kind of funny because I really haven't been doing makeup very consistently on myself for quite some time. It was only the latter half of 2022 that I like started to get into it. We're all going at our own pace. But I can share with you the products that I've been really liking lately. I like to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. And I have quite dark circles, so... I actually like putting concealer on first, and then I'll go on with foundation, and then another layer of concealer just to blend everything together. I use the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. Then I like to go in with the Fenty Contour Stick. Then I'll also go in with this Maybelline, uh, what's it called? This concealer thing in the shade Cool Ivory and just put a little right down the center of my nose like that. That's a little more than the little that I usually use. I'll set it with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finish Pressed Powder. For my brows, I don't have much to work with, so I just go lightly and in small strokes, I start by making the outline and then I fill it in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. Go over the brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel as well, just to keep the few eyebrow hairs I have in place. I've really been liking putting the blush just like right under my eye sort of in this upper half. Oh my gosh, that looks very pink on camera. ColourPop highlighter in Super Shock Cheek Glitter Felicity. This is the lipstick shade Sand Nude. It's the Peri Para. Here's the finished look. Very, very simple. Makes use of my glowy glass skin look, I think. I don't know, I'm learning stuff. Wow, perfect.
kind of a little wavier at the root. I thought I would do a quick what's on my iPhone just before I go to bed because I'm embarrassed to admit that's all I've been doing for the past two hours and that's why it's actually Thursday right now. <laughs> Changed my case back to the iridescent hearts and my phone group for my shop. My background is currently pom pom prune wallpaper. So if we open it up, we have the reason that I've been staying up. I feel like when you decorate your homepage with all the widgets and the icons, you clearly have a lot of time on your hands or are procrastinating something. It's cute and isn't that the best reason? All of these icons are from Pinterest. This little widget at the bottom is actually a Pinterest carousel. I have a board just dedicated to cute images that I think fit the aesthetic of my homepage. And I just made this board public, so you should go follow my Pinterest at Annika Sleaf. Then I've got my Spotify because it's probably my most used app ever. 90% of my day I'm listening to something, probably music. Here I have all of my socials. Pinterest, of course, what I was just showing you. I have a bunch of boards and I'm constantly adding to it every single day. My nail art one is probably my biggest board. If you see me start adding to it, you know I'm, I have an upcoming nail appointment booked. 
Then of course my Instagram, you can follow at Annika Sleaf, which is my personal, my main account. And then you can follow on dot studio with an underscore, that is my shop account. I am running a New Year's sale, so I won't get the time to announce it to my YouTube audience. So it's probably over by the time you see this. Everyone who has kindly followed my Instagram, got the secret discount code. If you aren't following that already, you might want to do that for future sales. Then I have TikTok. I'm making it a goal to start posting a lot more TikToks, reels, even YouTube shorts in the new year. I think it would be the perfect medium to share more recipes. And then, oh, my bottom bar, because they don't have the words there. The first one is just my phone. The second one is my mail. The third one is actually Safari. And then the last one, this little slice of cheesecake is my messages. Then I also did my second page as well, just with more apps that I frequently use. If you're wondering how I got all of these icons on my apps customized, I use this app called Shortcuts. This is what it looks like here. I'm gonna show you an example of how I did it, basically. On Shortcuts, I'm going to add a new one using the plus in the upper right-hand corner, add an action, and switch for open app. Then you click the app to select which app you would like it to open, take the top tab down, and say add home screen. And here's where you can customize the name of it. So usually I just name it whatever the app is called, and then you can choose the logo. This, yep, that's where my time has been spent tonight. And then just like that, it is added to the home screen. To get these medium widgets in the middle, I have used the apps Widgy, Widget Smith. And I always get questions about what I use to edit my Instagram photos. And the only app I really use is Lightroom. This is an Adobe app, so it goes along with my Adobe subscription because I do use Photoshop to edit my thumbnails. You may have to pay if you don't already have an Adobe subscription. It's very helpful because you can create presets or filters and then you can copy and paste them onto whatever photos you import. You don't have to go through each and every one. Make sure all the levels are exactly the same. And then the other app I use for Instagram planning is Feed Preview. I used to use another one, but then they didn't really sync it up with the reels and everything. So that is all. And you can probably tell my voice. We want to go to sleep. Okay, it's time.